<laughs> Got it. It's his name. He can tell me. I think we have to wait a minute for Red. I guess. All right. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, we're thank you for staying. Um, we're back. I want to let you know that we discussed how we were going to structure our um, decision with Corporation Council. I think we're all clear on how we're going to proceed. Um, what we'd like to do is go ahead and make findings of fact based on each of the criteria that is enumerated in this statute for us. Um, so, I'm going to, on each of these, put the question in the affirmative. The effect, uh, do we believe that the effect of the proposed work in will change, destroy, or affect the exterior features of the landmark or landmark district upon which work is to be done? Now, that's our, our criteria. Do we believe it is um, a truthful or what we're, we're looking at is will there be an impact here? Not yet, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. And this is my brother calling from Alaska. I'm really sorry. Um, all right, so I will state my opinion first. Yes, there will be a change in affecting the exterior features of the landmark just upon which such work is to be done. I think that is clear. It is large enough that it will have uh, an effect, and I personally would um, describe that effect as generally positive on the district. That's my point of view. And I'm going to ask everyone to, to say first whether they believe it, it has an effect, and then give an opinion as to the nature of that effect. OK, then I, all right, I stand corrected. Finding of fact, yes or no? I say yes. No. This yes or no is confusing to me. The effect of the proposed work on changing, destroying, or affecting the exterior features of the landmark or the landmark district, yes, there'll be a, there will be an effect. Is that saying no? No. It's, it's not a decision yet on the project You're making, the case the affirmative you're making have a positive impact on the character of the district. Uh, is that the case you're making? Hold on. Mm -hmm. it say you I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I gave my opinion. I will retract that. That will come when we actually are, are determining Fine. up or down on the project itself. I'm saying there's an effect. Does that change your, uh, your vote or your consideration? It's not how I interpret findings of fact. Where, as a commission, we deliver the facts of the project. But it could be in the affirmative, but one person making a finding. Can you speak up, please? And then we. Sorry, there's a, there, uh, there's a discussion about what, how to go about making the findings of fact. And uh, in, it's been my, in my experience that findings of fact is made by one person. It can be in the uh, affirmative or in the negative. But we vote on. The findings of that. We don't go back around the table and state our opinion. Okay. Um, yeah, first day, yeah. We've lost him because we, we walked thought, in the back. He walked in the back room. All right. Okay. Oh, he went downstairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go get him. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I thought he wanted us each to individually. A little confused. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> if we, that is a danger. That's one we don't want to get into. Which will summarize sort of like someone needs to make a motion to move this forward. So they're making an affirmative declaration or they're making a negative declaration. And those are the motions back that have been Okay, 
So I, I would make one saying that it's a positive effect. Right, so you go through and you... Got it. All right, let me check and make sure we've got this process down. This is, as I said, a, a project where we're going into details we don't always go into, and we want to make sure we do this right. Hey, Mark, can I also ask that if somebody is voting against, per se, uh, the project or a particular factor that they explain what we could do to change their mind? That's an interesting thought, but I... Um, well, we need, we need to know what... what, what the, the, the particular commission member would want us to do to um, change this view that they have. Can you please speak up? This is a public meeting, and we'd appreciate if you speak to the public. Uh, us here. Thank you. I'm just sharing with my uh, with the chairman my template for findings of fact. That one commissioner find the facts and we as a commission vote to approve those facts or deny those facts. And then the next motion is, based on the preceding findings of fact, do we support the application? Okay, and this is close to, the, to what we discussed in there, but it's not precisely the same. This is, this is we're doing the affirmative to you, can I use that? Right, I know. Mark, I, I think that the ultimate goal here is to at some point get a preservation notice of action from the a commission here that um, f for the project yes, to go and, forward. And we would and, like to do so in a way that, right. that puts uh, the basis for the decision in the record as clearly exactly. as we can. And, 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 so, and so the finding of facts procedure is something that we don't generally spend a lot of time on, but on this case in particular, we feel it's, it's hugely important that everyone understand the basis for our decision. Right, and, and I agree. And, and therefore, if, if anybody voting against issuing a, a preservation notice of action in support of the project, we would ask that they explain to us what steps they would like to see us take uh, to um, uh, address their concerns. Yeah, I'm having trouble. Oh. All right. In laying out the, the findings of fact, shall we vote separately on each criteria? Should I speak in the affirmative on all, on some, one by one? I believe you should do them one by one. One by one? Okay. Or you can say they're not applicable. Oh, yeah, number five may not, I think, be strictly applicable here, Frank. So, so can we just address this concern I have? Because at the end of the day, we would have to keep coming back uh, to the commission until such time as a preservation notice of action was um, issued to us. Uh, and uh, uh, since it's not the role of this commission to kill the project, but to let us know if a particular member is voting against it, for whatever, what, is, what is the basis for the vote against it, and what they feel we should do uh, to uh, correct their concerns so that we have something to come back with, if that's the case. All right, do you think that that's is that not, uh, reasonable? Sure. Okay, so is everyone understanding how we're adapting this process? Uh, right, so I'm gonna be making it in, a statement in the inf affirmative. We'll poll each commission, those of you voting in the negative also, I suppose those voting the positive can explain their Absolutely. votes as well. All right. I'm going to take it with the criteria in B1. Mm -hmm. That I believe the effect of the, of the Irish Cultural Center on the exterior features of the landmark district will positively change, will not destroy or negatively affect the, the district. I, I believe this is true because the, prop, pro, the 
facades are in keeping with each of the streets upon which they face and that the architectural details and materials have been altered so as to more closely mirror the Rondo district as it stands today. All right. All right. Um, I don't think that that my rationale needs to be on in the minutes. I think just the fact that I've moved in, and in the affirmative is, is sufficient. You just okay. need I'm not going to reiterate my opinion. I, I, uh, not how I believe we should be going about the findings of fact. Uh, I, I, I don't think this is the deliberative process of, of, of the discussion. It's, it's a collection of like findings of the fact, which I believe are in the affirmative. So that said, I, 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 I do not agree with Chairman Kornblatt that the uh, new building will um, be a positive effect on the neighborhood. So that's a negative then, right? Yes. I also vote in the negative. I think it will alter or change the neighborhood in the landmark district. I vote in the positive. I think the alteration to the neighborhood will be positive. I vote in the negative. I believe that the effect of the proposed work will change and affect the historic character of the neighborhood in a negative way. I vote in the positive. I believe this will have a positive impact on the neighborhood. I have to vote in the negative for reasons already stated. All right, so my finding of fact has been defeated three to four. And the board as a whole has determined that there will be a negative effect under criterion one. Moving on to criterion two, the relationship between the results of such work and the exterior architectural features of other neighboring improvements. Hmm. Right. I, I would um, I would move that the relation the, that a positive relationship exists between the results of the proposed work and the exterior architectural features of other neighboring improvements, and that the um, materials spacing and overall design are generally harmonious with neighboring structures or are cited so as to mitigate any jarring impact on neighboring structures. I uh, vote in the negative that the relationship between the results of such work and the exterior architectural features of um, uh, of the neighboring improvements uh, will uh, not be harmonious with the character of the district. Can that be explained? 
let me. Uh, from an architectural point of view? I can. That the proposed uh, siting of the building with its foundation should be at an elevated height and built into the hill adjacent to Company Hill Path has no precedent in this district where historically buildings have been built at the higher elevation on, on a Beale Street or below at the level of West Strand. That the proposed scale of the building, its height, its width, and depth is um, sorry, the proposed scale of the building in um, meaning its height, width, and depth is not congruous with the immediate context in that its width of 83 feet facing Company Hill Path composed as a single monolithic mass elevated above the level of the iconic streetscape that is the West Strand is a departure from the historic development patterns of this section of the district, which brought detached residential buildings on a Beale Street and compact, tightly spaced commercial buildings at the West Strand level. Can I ask you a question? Not at this point. Please, uh, I'd like the to I also vote in the negative that the relationship between the results of this work and the exterior architectural features of other neighboring improvements are harmonious. I've already stated my concern about this. There are multiple facades. There are multiple neighborhoods. There are multiple types of use. Um, it's yet another precedent setting relationship. I move in the positive. I think that the you know, the refocus of of interest on Company Hill Path. Is is a massive improvement to the Rondout neighborhood, and I think that the design reflects well on both the commercial and residential aspects of the Rondout neighborhood. I vote in the negative on the relationship between the results of such work and the exterior architectural features of other neighboring improvements. And I'm basing this largely on the points that Marissa brought up um, in regard to um, B2. Could, could you state what they are, please? Because it was very long. It was long, and that's why I just do really the highlights. Of them. Would, please, thank you. And what we could do to to address your concerns and, and change your mind. Okay. Um, I I think that it it does set a precedent in in terms of its relationship to um, the Company Hill Path, the the depth of the building, the height of the building. Um, I, I, I don't have many issues anymore with the actual architectural features mm -hmm. that you have introduced of late. So I would like to add that. I vote in the positive. Um, that's all I have to say. Thank you. So that the finding of that. So in terms of criterion two, the vote is four to three in favor of uh, stating that this is a positive relationship. All right. Moving on to number three. This is the factors of aesthetic, historical, and architectural values and significance, architectural style, design arrangement, texture, material, and color. I would um, find that the 
architectural style, design, arrangement, texture, material, and color are a positive factor in as presented by the applicant and will add to the aesthetic, historical, and architectural values of the district. I vote in the negative uh, that the factors of aesthetic, historical, and architectural values and significance, architectural style, design, arrangement, texture, material, and color uh, 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 for the fact that the uh, uh, project's uh, triple stack terrace and balconies uh, proposed for most or all, or all of the width of the company hill path elevation is not congruous with the district. No other building therein features an expansive outdoor um, space on each level of the structure, and such an amount of requisite iron banishers uh, would be visually discordant with the art, um, architectural character of the West Strand. I vote in the positive. The factors of aesthetic, historic, and architectural values and significant architectural styles, design, arrangement, texture, materials, and color will contribute to the neighborhood. I am not as concerned about a number of these. There are so many criterion here lumped together, essentially that on the balance, I do find that you have worked to try to address a number of issues with relating both the residential facade of the building to that neighborhood, as well as the more commercial facing facade to that neighborhood. Ultimately, it, it still sets a precedent that's difficult for me to reconcile, but I, I vote in the positive. I vote in the positive. I vote um, in the positive um, regarding the factors of aesthetic, historical, and architectural values and significance, architectural style, design, arrangement, texture, material, and color. Although I did hear earlier that there would still be a little discussion about color if this is approved, so I want to put that in. I vote in the positive, and I too, um, I too believe that there will be considerable further discussions about the colors and some other design features yet to be discussed and finalized here. I vote in the positive, and this, for me at least, was probably the easiest decision out of all of them. <laughs> then that finding is in the positive by a vote of six to one. Moving on to criteria four, special character and aesthetic interest that any structure involved adds to the area. I would find that the character and aesthetic interest of the Irish Cultural Center design will add positively to the area. Um, for me personally, I believe that the tie um, to the um, historical paymaster's house, especially the use of the foundation stone on the lowest level facing the Company Hill path in combination with the brick on the rest of the facade in the design as presented will provide a modern structure but also tie
tie itself to the history of the area and to the, frankly, the history of Irish workers in Kingston. And I believe that that will add to the character of the Rondout Historic District. I vote in the negative that uh, the, the building will add a special character and aesthetic interest uh, uh, to this area, uh, uh, mainly for the fact that the building uh, breaks so many trends, historical trends of development in this neighborhood, uh, in terms of uh, which seat, which uh, elevation it faces, uh, it being it has two two primary facing elevations, and that uh, the way the uh, Company Hill Path uh, elevation uh, will be used is, is, is breaking the precedent for the neighborhood and uh, that the size of this building at this elevation is breaking the precedent for this neighborhood. Could you state what, what reason we could, what, what we could change in the building? We're not there yet. I, uh, you'll have to interpret what I just said. Is there a rule against it? I vote in the negative that the special character and aesthetic interest that this structure, the structure adds, um, will be of positive value to the area. Criterion three for me was about the building in and of itself, even with the relationship of the two facades. It's that breaks down for me when you have to consider the building in relationship to all of the other buildings within the district and also to the buildings that are next to it. Um, there is, it, it becomes problematic for me, the relationship in size, in placement, in proportion, and in character um, to the other buildings within the historic district and to the district itself. I vote in the positive. I vote in the positive on B4. Um, and as we've mentioned before, the, the wording on some of these is general, and, and it leads to different interpretations. But my interpretation is that the building will have a special character and an aesthetic interest for many that um, could add to the area. I vote in the positive. I agree with Jane. I believe that it will add special character to the area. I vote in the negative and my um, reasoning is tied to, I'm seeing this as another way of saying um, criteria number one. To me, they're, they're linked uh, so closely to one another, I can't separate them. So that, that's some explanation of my vote. All right, the final tally there is four to three in favor of, my, of the finding fact I stated. All right, thank you everybody for giving your rationales. Now let's move on to the project as a whole. So based on the preceding findings of fact, I move that our commission approve the application for the Irish Cultural Center of the Hudson Valley at 32 Abiel Street, as amended in the plans as presented I'm sorry, to our commission. Mark, I'm sorry, can I interrupt just a second? Sure. Don't, don't we have another criteria? Oh, all right. right. I, I personally believe that number five is not directly applicable oh, here. It. Okay. It, does everyone agree with me? I, I thought we had reached yeah. a conclusion on that in, the, okay. in our little executive session. 
All right. This is the criteria that I am skipping, just so that you know I don't believe that it's directly applicable. Um, and I believe everyone here has agreed. The difficulty or impossibility of reproducing any structure involved because of its design, texture, material, position, or detail. We are, as, as we stated in the, before, we're not reproducing a, a paymaster building, for example. We, we are not intending that. And so I, I believe that, except for perhaps the reference, this criteria does not directly apply. They're not tearing down something that must be replaced. All right, with that in mind, I'm going to repeat myself. OK. Yeah. Based on the preceding findings of fact, I move that our commission approve the application for the Irish Cultural Center of the Hudson Valley at 32 of Beale Street as amended in the plans as, as submitted. Presented to our commission here in public hearing. No, here in a public meeting and previously in a public hearing on September 14th. Because the application does meet section 405-64B of the Kingston City Code for the reason that the proposed building is compatible in siting architectural detail and <coughs> material with the historic and architectural character of the Rondau Historic District. Mark, may I just one little nitpick that I think though is very important procedurally is just to clarify what the vote is on. And uh, if I may, I believe it's just whether or not this board um, is ready to issue a preservation notice of action with respect to the application, um, which would enable us to get a building permit uh, to start uh, construction. I think that's the... The preservation notif notice of action is the... You, you're correct. That's specifically right. cited in Section A. Right. So it's, so it's not that, really not necessary. So we yep. would be... I would um, uh, allow the amendment here to approve a preservation notice, a positive preservation notice of action. The issuance of it, yeah. 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 That, that would go right here to make your job a little easier. Well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, it, so, it'll, so it'll it's not confused right, with an up right or down on the here. project, but whether or not you're issuing Does the preservation. Does everyone understand what um, the addition here is? The formal name for an approval of, of this board is called a preservation notice of action. Make sense? Yeah. All right. I, um, I have made that motion. I need a second. We have a second from Scott. Again, I'd like to go around the table on this one. I vote aye. Nay. Nay. Aye. Nay. Aye. Nay. Okay. My motion does not carry. And I think that's it. Can we, can we get an explanation, though, because we're going to have to come back um, and, right. and submit uh, uh, materials that's going to satisfy? Would, would those who voted against care to give some guidance? W we have to know because rationale? we're going to keep coming that back. I, it until, would be helpful, yeah. I think, um, for our record as well, if you're willing. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's asking if there, what could be changed to change a vote. Uh, if the building was smaller in, in width, I could vote. I could approve this. With, with what? what? Was the last thing you said? I'm sorry. So Wait. smaller building and narrower width. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying if it was, if if, if the building was uh, shrunk in width, I could possibly approve this. Could you uh, tell us how much, how many feet? I, I, I really don't feel comfortable giving a specific dimension. I I, I would say at, at least 25%. On the width? On the width. And then what about the depth? I'm okay with the depth. Okay. I voted nay because I believe if the building was built as proposed, it would result in a building out of harmony with existing buildings, and it would alter the desired character of this neighborhood. 
So how do we how do we correct that deficiency? I think you allege? that's the crux of the problem. Um, you're, you've chosen the most difficult site, perhaps, in the Rondout to choose to build. Um, you're needing to tie in to two existing and very different neighborhoods. I feel like you've done many things to try to mitigate the placement of the building, the siting of the building, as needing to accomplish all of those things. I can't prescribe <laughs> how you might make that feel more harmonious to me. Um, all I can say is that you're, this is the ultimate challenge. Um, and I wouldn't feel comfortable prescribing a resolution to that challenge. There's no item of, of, of an idea, just an idea. I think the siding is difficult for me. Um, well, I know the siding is difficult for me. I'm just not sure how you remedy this. Um, and I wouldn't want to propose how you would solve the, the problem of placement. Hey, Mr. Oh. I think that's the, the most on, on this placement means moving the building to another location? Or? I think placement means placement means a lot of things in my mind in respect to this particular site. Um, you have a lot of choice as to where to place the building as, as far as height, whether or not it's going to be at ground level on one facade, um, or whether or not it's going to be at the, the peak of the, the sort of landline. You have a choice as to how you're going to place the building within the the abeal side facade, what that setback is going to be. Ultimately, I, I feel like this is a truly difficult site to try to build a mixed use building that would tie into both neighborhoods successfully. And I wouldn't even try to prescribe how you would do that. Um, I, I noticed in uh, the previous vote that I, my votes were split. Um, I voted in the negative on one and two and positive three and four. And my ultimate vote of no reflects that I'm more concerned about the elements in one and two. And it it goes back to the relation of the proposed building to other buildings surrounding it. And as Leslie was saying, coming to terms with um, the site and the scope of this building, um, is difficult. I don't know how you could resolve it. I do have to say that I have total understanding for why you want to have a building of this size because I think it makes total sense to have a multi-purpose building that offers so much to the community. Um, so I, it, it's it's primarily the siting of this building. And which buildings in relationship are you referring to specifically? Um, I, I think specifically, I, I go back to especially the adjacent residential buildings. Um, I, I think it's as interesting as the design is that it is a, a large commercial man. It has an uncomfortable feel, sort of like when Alan mentioned putting a size 11 foot in a size 
Um, th thank you, Jane, for summarizing my, my overall feeling. But the, actually, the first thing that occurred to me was to reiterate that, um, I guess you would say, proportion, which is, uh, for me, uh, driving my negative vote. On the positive side, I like a lot of things about this project, and that's, you know, that, that, that causes internal angst for a lot of us, you know, to like a lot of aspects, but to ultimately have to vote no is a very painful thing. We don't do this lightly. Um, but um, our mandate is to look after this beloved historic district, and I know you guys can get it right, just uh, just keep trying to look at that proportional aspect. Can you can you clarify what proportion means? Um, well, I, I I hate to use the term size or scale. We're not supposed to use these uh, terminologies anymore. It's all about how it fits in the district to its neighbors, to the overall, and uh, I think that's. Probably the main thing that's driving the uh, the four negative um, votes, if I counted that directly. You mean its relationship to its neighbor? Uh, the feel, the, yeah, the feel of it in relation to its neighbor. Every every building has. It's not just the size and the shape and the proportion. It's it's the overall and how it uh, is. It's just, uh, you know, it's a, it's a friendly, neighborly thing. You want to please your neighbors. So... Uh, it, Is that the standard by which you're making this determination? I think that's buried in our criteria, that we're supposed to pay attention to this. Yeah. And I don't think I'm misinterpreting this, uh, this uh, way of looking at it. Is that what everybody yeah. else feels? I, I do think we're supposed to evaluate how it will affect the character of the neighborhood. Yes. From, from a historic perspective or just in general? Um, from an historic perspective and, and also in terms of um, preserving the integrity of, of the neighborhood. Yeah. All right. I think you've gotten a pretty interesting list of specifics. I thank you for your time. I thank you for your efforts. We have a decision. Thank you. And thank you, everyone out there who's been waiting patiently with us. And just to clarify, the decision is not to issue the notice of um, uh, preservation notice of, of, preservation notice of action. Exactly. At this meeting. Okay. Yeah. By a vote of four to three. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And good night, all. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Yay. Do I have a second? We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you.